welcome. Hello and welcome to today's session of Coach Manny's weekly um, session. I'm really I'm excited to have you all here today. And, and exactly today, we are not just broadcasting on Google Plus. We're also on Mirror Plus, Mirror Cat today. And we'll see how many people we can get up and rolling on Mirror Cat today as we talk about our subject today phone procrastination. Wow. Let's see if we can get this baby up and going. Hold on. Let's see. Are we live yet? I think we're just about live. We just want to make sure we're good here. And all right. So we're going to double broadcast today. So you can see us on Mirrorcat or you can see us on uh, Google Plus. Either way, we're going to be talking about phone procrastination. And I'm excited to have you here today. I'm excited that this thing is rocking and rolling with you. So let's talk about phone procrastination because that's one of them crazy things. You know, we have that phone and we can't pick that darn thing up. Why can't we pick it up? Why can't we make the calls that we need to make? What is holding us back? Why do we hesitate all the time? And don't play games with me out there saying, oh, well, I don't have any problem with the phone. You know what? There's few people that don't have a problem picking up the phone. And guess what? You might just be one of them. So we're going to talk today about phone procrastination. What we're going to talk about is this thing right here, first of all. It's fear. And what is fear? Fear is that thing that keeps holding you back. It's that thing that says, whoa, I can't do this. I can't pick up the phone. Do you realize how much business people are losing? Because, A, they don't make the follow-up call. And it's not just about they forget about it. It's they just don't want to make the call. They don't. They don't feel like it. And the first thing I'm going to teach you is to overcome fear. You need to forget what you feel like. Okay. Phone, set, phone selling, phone calls, phone processes don't doesn't have any room for fear. You need to leave fear behind. Second of all, this isn't going to happen when you make a call. You're not going to die. <laughs> I know that's hard. We're here every week on Friday. We're broadcasting on Google+. Plus. We're here trying to show you and help you learn. And this isn't going to happen when you pick up the phone. And I know that may be a surprise for many of you out there, but it's not. Now, some things that could happen when you make those phone calls and some of those things that really make you hesitate, you could get, someone could cuss you out. When you when they pick up the phone, you know how we get when sometimes we pick up the phone, right? What are you calling me for? And yeah, and they could call you six names under the sun. And yes, those things could happen. But are they going to happen? Are they really going to happen? Of course not. It's this fear. Most people aren't that way. Most people, if you get them on the phone, they'll talk to you. So don't have that fear of picking up the phone. Get that phone picked up. Get it picked up now. Second thing that could happen is they could hang up. So what? Making phone calls is a tough process. And if you want to do it successfully, if you want to really kick your sales in the butt, you know what we're selling all the time, right? We're talking about doubling your sales. You cannot double your sales if you worried. If some, you make a phone call and somebody hangs up on you, come on now. That, that's like yesterday. Let's leave that behind and let's move on. The third thing that could happen, and this one is really tough for a lot of us, is they could lecture you. Oh, my gosh. Did you ever make a cold call and somebody gets on the phone and they start talking about, don't you know that this is not a very good thing to do? Don't you know? And you're like, okay, just let me go. On. I'd rather have you hang up on me or cuss me out so that I can go on then to the next call. Cold call is one of the big processes. People think cold calling is dead, but I'm not just necessarily talking about cold calling. I'm talking about any time you got to pick up the phone, what's holding you back and why are you hesitating? We need to stop that. We're live here today. This is Coach Manny's Friday call a couple of days early because Friday I'm going to be out. So I didn't want to leave you without 
our weekly uh, coaching call. So I wanted to make sure everybody out there got this week's message. So you can pick up the phone call. You know what? Pick up the phone and call me. My number's out on the web. And talk to me a little bit today and tell me a little bit about your business. We're here every Friday. And we're on Miracat today. And we're starting to pick up some good traffic out there. And it's pretty exciting. So let's talk about some of the points that are very important when you get on the phone in order for you to make that call that makes you a success. Now, this is a word that some people don't like it. They hate the word dominate. And let me tell you, I'm not talking about dominate in some negative fashion. What we're talking about is you need to own the process. You need to feel that good. Just like me, I'm on this call right now. I'm talking to you about making phone calls. I own this process. Right now, I am dominating this process. You have no doubt about what I'm saying. You may hesitate a little bit. You may not feel that comfortable with it, but you know that Manny is bringing you the great stuff about making phone calls. Same thing with you. If you're Whether you're selling computer services, printing, consulting, accounting, I don't care what it is. You need to come across like we are that good. When it comes to doing work with you in this area, we are that good. That's what this word means. You know, you can either be just struggling or you can dominate. Which one do you want to do? Now, second word. Again, these words drive people crazy, but you got you got to be aggressive. If you're just sitting there and you know how many people, <laughs> and I, unfortunately, and I'm bad, I, I do make fun of people sometimes, not in, not in a terrible way, but, you know, people call you and you know they have no sense of how to make a call and you just start playing with them a little bit. You got to be aggressive. You got to, not to the point of being rude. Now, this word is not spelled R-U-D-E. It is aggressive, which means I got a great thing to sell you. You, I know you need this product. Why aren't you buying it? That's the feeling that you need. That's how you need to come across. Pick up that phone, say, hello, Mr. Jones, this is Coach Manny Nowak, and I would just like to have 20 seconds of your time to tell you about what we can do for you. Think about it. Next word, confident. How confident are you? How good do you feel? about what you're selling. How well do you know it? How well do you know what you're talking about? There was a guy, I think they were talking about on guerrilla marketing or guerrilla selling, I was listening to the story, knew more about his competition's product. So when the customer starts talking stuff like, well, I don't think this product can do that, he knew the answer. So the question is, how well do you know your competition? Enough to be confident enough. Now, we never talk about our competition in a negative way, but how confident are you that this product is better? I'm confident that my coaching is, when it comes to sales process, I've got one of the best in the country, and I'm confident about that. And it shows when you're making a phone call. How well do you know what you're talking about? Don't you just hate it when you get someone on the phone and they just plain and simple don't know what they're talking about? Oh, my gosh. It, it is like I just want to hang up. And a lot of times, of course, we do hang up. But you got to be confident. You got to know your product and you got to know what you're doing. And you know what stops people? And, and those who listen to me a lot and have been on the Friday uh, show with the coach a lot always see it, right? You got to know what you're doing because those who don't know come across terrible because they don't practice. You got that? They don't practice. And I don't know how much I keep telling you. You know, we look at the professional athletes, we look at all the stars, and they're always practicing. In fact, they practice 5, 10, 20 times as much as they play. Why? because it makes them a star. Do you think you don't need to practice being good on the phone? You do. And you need to know your product. And the only way you can do that is to practice it over and over again. How do I get good at doing this on? How do you get good at speaking? You practice. Man, I like it. We're on Maricat today, and we're bringing up some good uh, traffic today, and I'm excited. Let's get some more people up on Maricat because we want to continue to uh, develop that audience along with the, the G-plus audience we have over there. 
And I think next week we're going to actually also be on Periscope. So um, we're trying to get the message out. This is Coach Manny's Friday call. We're always here with 30 minutes of business education and helping coach you to be better, stronger, wiser, and just, just make money out there. Okay, let's face it. And phone calls are something that you need to do. We have a process called Double Your Sales. If you go out to my website, um, Manny, M-A-N-N-Y-N-O-W-A-K.com, and we'll give it to you at the end. Actually, I probably have a slide here, right? <laughs> These are pretty cool slides, right? Um, there it is, MannyNoak.com, um, which directs you over to our Decision Institute site where you can actually pick up double your sales. Take a look at it. I didn't say necessarily buy it. Well, it is one of the best processes out there for anybody who's really interested in doubling your sales. And if you're not interested in doubling your sales, of course, then it's not going to be a hot product for you. Come on, Maricat, keep building for me. We're excited about this new audience we got going out there. I'll hold that for a while. Um, let's see, what else do you need to do? If you want to be good on a phone, what else do you need? You need this. You need to be unstoppable. And what does that really mean? It, you know, this word is pretty interesting because when you talk about stop, it means just, okay, a stop. Now, to be unstoppable means that no matter what, I got, I got a dog. He's part uh, pit bull, part American bull dog is unstoppable. I take him on a walk, guess what? This dog will pull me down the road. He ain't stopping. He's pushing. And when you get on that phone, now, if the person just says, I don't want it and I just leave me alone, are you sure? And I'm not saying to harass people because that would be one of the worst things. But you know the person needs what you're selling. How do you get them to want it? Because, you know, you got to get your voice. They have to feel through you, in you, that you believe this is the best thing. Because that will make them feel the same way, too. All right. So how do you get those calls made? What are some of the keys that, you know, you have this attitude now. you practiced. You're good. You're sharp. What, what would we say there? You are unstoppable right you're you've you've gotten to the point where you are not going to stop so you're unstoppable you've done what the coach told you right you've practiced and you practiced you know your product now you've got this thing which is so critical you got enough confidence that nobody and nothing is going to get in your way you are aggressive because you feel that no one is going to stop you from getting there and of course you are dominating your market. So what do you got to do? All right. Keep that. Look at that. We are pumping here on America, on America. And of course, Google Plus too. It's great to be here. And of course, if you miss this, uh, you can always go out to my YouTube channel, MannyNoak.com, and you can pick this one up and many more. All right. So if you really want to make phone, do the phone thing, the first thing you got to do is do it first thing in the morning. Make it first on your list. You know, I get up every morning, and what's the first thing I do in the morning is I exercise. Why? Because I don't want to. You know, I want to get up, sit down, relax, have a cup of coffee. You think I want to exercise? But I don't want to exercise after that anymore. In fact, I probably want to exercise less. So I get up, I do my exercise, and I'm done. So when you start working your day, do the calls that you can right then and get them done and get done on the phone and then you can work some other stuff. So make them first. But in order to make them first, you have to make it a priority, a high priority. And in order for it to be a high priority, you have to convince yourself really that it's that important, that the thing that happens to me is that when I make calls, I am going to make money. Let's face it, you can send emails all day long. It's comfortable, it's easy, it's simple. But guess what? If I make a high priority to make the phone calls, I'm probably going to make more money. Just happens. And then, of course, you need this. And you see this written all over me. It's all over everything I teach. It's all over what I believe in. And that is, you got to have attitude. 
because attitude is what drives you. Attitude's what pumps you. Attitude's what gets you to pick up that phone in the first place and say, hi, this is Coach Manny. How are you today? Pick up the phone. Make it happen. Make it happen for you. Now, this is the process we talked about today. Double your sales. We're here, by the way, every Friday at noon. This week, we're kind of an off broadcast because um, I'm going to be out this Friday doing some other things that are live. So I wanted to make sure we still got our half an hour in. So I'm pre-recording this. You can pick it up anytime. You pick it up on Maricat now. You can pick it up on Google Plus anytime between now and forever because it's out on our channel, of course. But the point is, next week, we got a really hot guest who is one of the best branding people out there. And she is just going to come in here and shake you around a little bit and help you with that whole branding process. So don't forget to be here next week as we bring in Carol Ann DeSimone. And she is just, you know, you can go out to our website, read a little bit more about her. But she's going to be a great guest. And she's going to be with us next Friday. Yeah. And then we've got we've got a pretty good lineup. We got Eleanor coming in to talk about that whole um, how do you dress for success thing, and um, we have a guy coming in to talk about financial stuff. We, you know, this week I'm here by myself, of course, <laughs> only because we're on an off day broadcast. But double your sales is a process, and if you go out to this website, you can read about it and a lot of our other tools. Um, I'm just excited to be here today. I really want to make sure that you understand that picking up that phone is one of the most important things that will happen and is one of the most critical things you can do to help you be a success. So don't think about it. Don't procrastinate about it. Don't worry whether worry about what's going to happen. Just pick up the phone, make the call, make another one, make another one, make another one, and you will be successful. This is the coach saying, it's Friday. We're excited. We got another fabulous week coming up next week. Gosh, if you pick up that phone, I bet you'll make more money. Hey, we were excited. This was our first uh, live broadcast on Mercat. Next week, we're hoping to have Mercat and Periscope out there, plus Google+. Plus. Jace, we're excited. We hope this helps you. Get out to our site. Um, there's a lot of tools out there. Get out to our um, YouTube page. We got hundreds of videos out there for you. I want to thank you for being here today. This is a coach saying, as my dear old friend used to say, get out there and make this a better world. Thank you.